Good evening. Parents are continuing to be impacted by the baby formula shortage that's affecting the entire country. Tonight, local health officials and businesses are talking about the efforts being taken by President Biden. Brianna Malone joins us in the studio with more on their thoughts and what they're currently experiencing with parents. Brianna. Sean and Jill, President Joe Biden is implementing a solution to potentially help parents that are being affected by the baby formula shortage. Imagine having a newborn and being unable to provide the necessary nutrients to the infant due to a nationwide formula shortage. This is what eerie parents are facing. A lot of moms, different formula variations, going from one being shortage to kind of getting alternatives to other ones, getting shortages and getting alternatives. So, you know, moms are just trying to come to us for guidance with where to find the formulas. There's a lot of stress about the current baby formula shortage uh, with no end in sight currently, but we're hoping for improvement. One local mother shares her frustrations on Facebook by saying she is unable to find specific formula for her child. Another parent says she is facing the same issue, but not due to the formula being recalled, but by it being used as an alternative by other parents. President Joe Biden announced on Wednesday that he is reinstating the Defense Production Act that would prioritize key ingredients for formula production and prompt suppliers to provide the needed resources to formula manufacturers. Hopefully, you know, this will help some of the moms out. You know, we just still, the timeline is, you know, um, in the air, so just not too sure when things will be available, but you know, we are hopeful that the moms are able to um, get more resources and get more formula availability. The Erie County WIC program is continuing to recommend the WIC Shopper app to parents looking for formula. Local physicians share what efforts they are making. We try to help out when we can with samples, and we're trying to help parents find formula, which is not easy. One local pediatrician shares what parents should avoid during the baby formula shortage. There are some stories about formula alternatives. Uh, goat's milk, cow's milk, uh, diluting formula using toddler milk. We don't uh, recommend any of those things. They don't provide proper nutrition for babies. Dr. Burns says those using formula alternatives can make babies sick and sometimes lead to seizure activity. Sean. Right, Brianna Malone reporting tonight. Thank you, Brianna.